It was exactly eight o'clock. They went out, grabbed the flags, put the flags up here. He entered through the back door. That's how Andrew Glidden says the robbery at his ice cream shop started last night when a large man, a bandana over his face, walked straight in. He told the girls that he had a gun to get on the floor and told them that if they moved, he would he would kill them. The girls waited, not moving even as the man left, taking 80 or so dollars, the girls' cell phones, and a purse with him. A short time later, a parent came to check on the teenagers. He looked out through this window and saw both girls laying face down on the ground. One of them looked up at him and mouthed, help me. Which is when the parent called police. The suspect fled on foot. Police tried to track him down, but found no sign of where he went. Though no one was physically hurt, Glidden says the robber stole a lot of spirit. This is supposed to be a fun atmosphere. He and his wife just bought the shop a few months ago, reopening it to give kids a place to work. My father helped out a ton with all the updates. Today, the shop just days into its season was closed while staff regroups. You think it's not going to happen here, and it does, and it did. It did, but there's a plan to move forward. Route 160's owners had planned to put security cameras in anyway. None of the ice cream was taken. Or hard serve, soft serve. And with Mother's Day Sunday. This isn't going to deter us. There's a whole community waiting for a scoop of get her done. We're going to show that we have a strong backbone and you're not going to stop us. In Hiram, Dustin Blikowski, New Center, Maine. The robber is described as a male about six feet tall, 200 pounds with blonde hair. He was wearing jeans and a sweatshirt. Anyone with information is asked to contact Oxford County's Sheriff's Office.